Hello! This short video will show you how to obtain a top 10 list using Power Query in Microsoft Excel. Because we're using Power Query, this video is considered to be at an intermediate level. Okay, let's talk about the top 10 list that I'd like to create then. The top 10 list that, list that I'd like to create is for the worst counties in Minnesota regarding the percentage of children without health insurance. Let us consider the data processing steps. The first step is to include only information on Minnesota. The original data table that I have has information for all counties in the United States. Second, I want to exclude any state level information. In step three, we want to specify the age category to be four because that indicates people under the age of 19. The race category will be set equal to zero because that indicates all races. The same for the sex category and the income category. Finally, in step four, we're going to need to sort or arrange the data table according to the percent uninsured. And then step five is to retain just the top 10 records and then also the desired fields. Okay, let's go ahead and get started then. So here I have my data table inside of Microsoft Excel. We can see that I have indeed loaded the data table with Power Query. I now need to go back to the query here. I can edit that query. Let's go back to edit. I will get the Power Query editor window here. And now we just need to proceed through with the required filter actions that we just talked about. So the first filter action that I want to apply is the state being Minnesota. So let's go ahead and do that. And the only state that I would like information from is Minnesota. Select OK. And this will reduce the records down just to information from Minnesota. The next now is to remove the state level information. And that is indicated with a blank county name. So this record or these records shown on the screen here are for the overall state. And we can see that from the numbers are very, very high here. If we slide down in further down into the table, we will start getting information for the counties. So here at record 127, we start getting the county information. So I would like to exclude the blank rows here. So I'm going to deselect the blank rows and that will exclude the state level information from consideration. So now I have information on Minnesota counties. That's what's being used to create our top 10 list. Next, I want to come over here and apply the filter actions for age category, race category, etc. So the age category, I wanted only four, which indicated people under the age of 19. The race category will be set at zero the sex category at zero, and then the income category, I want that set as zero as well. And that will just provide information across all income levels. So again, this should be set up as a four, zero, zero, zero. And that should be the case for all of the records that are being considered here. So let's go back to our filter actions, we are now through step three. The last two steps are to sort the data or arrange the data by percent uninsured and then obtain the top 10 records in the desired fields. So if I go all the way over here to the right, I have my percent uninsured. I want to select sort here and I want to do this from largest to smallest. So I'm going to sort in descending order or sort highest to lowest. Let's go ahead and apply that action. 
And now we can see that these are indeed sorted from highest down to lowest here. The last step then, well, we all, next we need to obtain just the top 10 rows. So I'm going to say keep rows here, keep top rows, and select just 10. That's going to reduce the number of records here down to just 10 rows. And then finally, the very last step is to just the choose the columns that I would like in my final table, which is just going to be the county name here, and then the percent uninsured. Say OK. And this is what my data table looks like. This is my top 10 list in regards to the worst counties in Minnesota for children being uninsured. Now, if I want to use this, again, I need to close and load that data table. If I need to go back and look at a particular step, I can do that over here under my applied steps. It will allow me to kind of backtrack and look at what I've done. I can take off, for example, certain steps here by selecting the red X here. Okay, so that's how you obtain a top 10 list using Power Query in Microsoft Excel. Thank you.